Peace, power, and protection. Welcome to Claire Audient Truth Speaker, beloveds. Thank you all for tuning and tapping into your Scorpio Collective reading. Would like to welcome anyone of you that may be new to the channel or here for the first time. I will that this message, that this reading, that the way that I read, my vibe, I will that it all resonates with you and that you find what you're looking for in this reading, whether it be confirmation, affirmation, some sort of fashion. <laughs> to all of our beloveds that are returning, love is love is love is love is love. I send you all extra love because I love you all that much. I go by the name of Q. This is Claire Audient, Truth Speaker. I used to go by Higher Frequency First Stop Visions. I am still that. That is always me. It's a part of me, but in true Scorpio fashion, we have to transform, elevate, evolve. So Clarity and Truth Speaker is something that truly resonates with me um, because I do utilize music. I incorporate music into my readings. Uh, that is the way that the messages come through. Just another way messages come through and uh, the way that it works, name the song, lyrics within the song, uh, maybe even the timestamp on the clock. It all correlates to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may show. And so it all blends beautifully, hence the name Claire Audience Truth Speaker, because I also add a little bit of that game. You know what I'm talking about? Like just a little cloth talk, beloveds. Um, so that is the way things work on this side of the planet. My readings are timeless. So whenever this video popped up in your feed, that was divine timing and in divine order that you've done so. Uh, my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If the reading doesn't apply to you, let it go, let it flow, let it fly by. Never try to force anything to be your story. Check your natal chart, see what other placements you may have, see what houses those placements may affect, and check readings according to that. You'll find that you might, you know, pick up on some additional messages out there um, outside of just your sun sign. So check your moon, your rising, check your Venus, your Mercury. We have Mercury retrograde coming up on December 13th. So please be ready, stay ready because you know, the energy starts hitting two weeks prior to the actual day. Any of the celestial energies that is that I'm referring to, um, you'll start feeling the effects of those, uh, celestial energies shifting, um, up to two weeks prior so uh, just be mindful of that mercury is the planet of communication um, so your communication you may find uh, you could be having some really uh, important conversations um, there could also be communication breakdowns um, you may also find you know that there may be some glitches to electrical devices, computers, phones, even your cars, because cars nowadays are um, computer based, you know, they are all programmed. So um, just prepare for that. You know, accidents occur a lot during this time, delays, delays, delays. I can't stress the word delays. Um, so just be prepared for things to kind of um, shift a little bit. In this month this is the last month uh, mercury retrograde lasts for one month so sometime in January it will commence but just prepare I like to give people that little forewarning that little warning shot that way they know um, what to expect and they can start preparing because like I always say if you stay ready you don't have to really get ready um, and if you know then you don't you know you won't fall into little traps that may um, pop up you know so just a little um, little nugget of information, affirmation for you all. So we're going to dive in. We're going to, you know, go ahead, proceed with the reading. Uh, but before we do, you know, I like to do some house cleaning, pay homage to all of our beloved ancestors, the spirit realm. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Shay. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, 
ancestors, ascended masters, spirit gods, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, 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 yo. So it is currently 151 on the Klizok. And we have uh, Coco T. And the name of the song is called Informer. So there you have it, 151, that breaks down to seven. Um, and it just turned to 152. So if you saw 152, it just turned. So 151 is seven, that's the crown. That's also the chariot energy. So I do feel like there's this sense of balance. So you may feel a lot of balance. You may feel like things are getting back into, you know, almost like a groove. You're feeling like you, you are in a groove and it's really due to your own assertiveness to you building your confidence, trusting your own intuition, learning from past mistakes, growing from said, um, you know, circumstances and evolving. So that level of evolution, um, is what I'm picking up on. Like there's growth from a, a former circumstance, something that you may have endured. So there is a sense of like some sort of moving forward, um, with a lot of confidence. I just get this air of confidence. I get this air of, you know, happiness, you know, just feeling more in balance, more in harmony, more in equilibrium because you feel clear headed. Uh, I get a sense of there being clarity, there being some sort of epiphanous moment or you feeling very much in tune and in alignment with your higher self. Um, tapping into that God frequency, tapping into your Christ consciousness, maybe through meditation. Uh, maybe you've been scribing your thoughts. Maybe you've been just purging a lot of bad behaviors, faulty belief systems, ideologies. But I see a level of growth and it's due to your assertiveness to get to the next level. Um, with that 152, the eight, I'm also feeling like that's a karmic cycle that could potentially be coming to a close um, and building up your strength through whatever painful circumstance you had to endure. So whatever that was you've endured, it built strength, it built character. Um, and you are coming off as someone very strong, someone who's almost purified yourself through the the fire. It's like, you know, there's this sense of that dross period where you were purified. It's like that saying, pressure busts pipes, but it creates diamonds. And so I'm seeing a sense of whatever karmic lessons or karmic circumstances you've overcome, it's made you stronger. So it's like you, you wouldn't be who you are had you not endured said experience or that circumstance with, you know, that ex-colleague or that ex-friend or that ex-lover or that family member that put you through the fire. Um, this was like your initiation. I'm hearing the initiation. Uh, so many of you were being tried and tested. So I'm getting a sense of judgment. I'm getting a sense of like, you know, this, this wake up call as to who you are. Um, you know, and as I said that you're getting justice now because you, you took your power back. This is like, you discovered your power more importantly, um, in that process. So that's a beautiful energy that I'm picking up on, uh, together that seven and that eight breaks down to 15. So I feel like you was dealing with a devil, um, someone who is very dark, dark spirit, someone very cunning, conniving, manipulative, uh, someone who, you know, tries to puppet, be a puppet master. Um, someone that was very much plotting against you or trying to control you or, um, just using, um, you know, using opportunities to try to, uh, legitimize, you know, not even legitimize, but to sabotage, um, your success or sabotage your happiness or your peace. So when you're dealing with a devil, that, that is definitely a cunning and conniving, um, energy, a very beguiling energy. Cause I get a sense of like this being someone cl in close vicinity of you, like in your cipher. So I was picking up like maybe a colleague, uh, it could have been a potential boss, a, a supervisor. Um, but if it wasn't in a work, ex uh, dynamic that you've experienced this, this, um, this uh, disappointment, it could have potentially been in a love 
uh, partnership where your partner was deceiving you or betraying you in some way. Maybe there was a lot that you may have discovered about this person. Maybe someone was codependent or dealt with some sort of addictions, whether it be drug, drinking, um, sexual addictions. Um, if it wasn't a love situation, this could have been a family, you know, snake, someone who's very jealous and envious, um, you know, some just this, that's just the energy, a very jealous and envious person, someone who speaks with a forked tongue, don't mean what they say, um, someone with a hidden agenda, hidden motives. Um, but with the six, I feel like, as I said, dealing with this devil, dealing with this energy, learn helped you to learn to trust your intuition and to come in harmony with yourself. So you were dealing with someone that was really trying to sabotage you. And through this experience, you've learned to love yourself, to only trust yourself. Um, you may have learned you can't trust anyone. Um, and that taught you to be more, um, more privy to, to going with your gut instinct or using your first eye to see or be more discerning because that 15 breaks down to six. So I do feel like it, it taught you self-awareness, but it also taught you to speak energy, to not give people the benefit of the doubt if they don't really truly deserve it. Because, you know, at the end of the day, trust has to be earned. It can't be given. So I feel like this is a lesson, like I said, that really got you in a space where you were stronger after it. It built character, this experience, because you was dealing with a devil. Um, and, you know, that devil is really really a cunning energy um what we have playing right now is we have mob deep and this is called shook ones um so you definitely shook this negative energy and kept it pushing i see victories that six is giving me you know the lovers um where you're more harmonized more in balance mind body soul emotional and and and, and uh your emotional and your psychological is all in equilibrium, is in harmony. You're not listening to one more than the other and vice versa. Uh, so that makes you more harmonized. That also gives a sense of you having a victory after experiencing some sort of turmoil, some sort of adverse circumstance. Um, you coming out of it unscathed, you coming out of it on top. So that's what I'm picking up with Mob Deep. This could have been a group of people that were hating on you. You could have been dealing with a bunch of different haters, a bunch of different people, um, you know, that wanted or tried to challenge you in some way. Uh, but like I said, I see nothing but victories and, and triumph uh, because you have remained in harmony. Like you did not allow yourself to, you know, to fall into traps of, of, um, believe in the okie doke or falling for the, you know, for these fugazis falling for their tricks. You know, uh, I definitely feel like you shook that energy. Like you, you lost it. You know, when we say shook, it's like you shake somebody off of you, you know, um, and from around you. Um, so you definitely were very much aware of what you was dealing with. Um, so what we are going to use today I don't have my numerology deck, which is okay, um, because what I will do is I'll use Energy Oracle. They still have numbers on them, so we'll utilize that. So look what you have here, the sun. So the sun is the number one card in the Energy Oracle deck. So you have the sun card here. So this is the beautiful, uh, fresh start, new beginning. Um, this is the beginning of happier times, happier moments in your life, feeling overjoyed, having that sense of, like I said, purification, feeling very much, you know, like you have um, rejuvenated your spirit, you know, your spirit um, where you've recovered and healed uh, from past traumas, from, you know, former circumstances. Um, this is a beautiful card of things opening up for you, happier days. Uh, I feel there may be some communication that could be coming in that's going to put a smile on some of your faces because we have underneath the sun is the number 39, the fifth chakra, Archangel um, Gabriel here. So this is saying that there's some communication that could be coming in that could potentially put a smile on your face. This is like good news. This could be news you've been waiting for. Um, I definitely feel like this has a lot to do with you being rewarded for, you know, going through um, the storm, you know, going through the storm, but not only going through it, but growing and surviving, overcoming and achieving, 
you know so this is a beautiful energy of something new coming in for those who are wondering I have my camera covered um, this is the dark matter series yet again I just not feel I'm not feeling the camera right now so I just want to do the reading without being on camera for those of you who are wondering like I can hear you but I don't see no picture so I apologize I was supposed to say that earlier but it slipped my mind so what we have on the split is we have the strength card I mentioned the strength during my little channeled message before we even touch the cards when we was breaking down that five and that six so what we see here is I'm seeing not the five and the six but the seven and the eight pardon me um what we see here is the strength and we see the sun so this is why and this five this 50 that this five breaks down to and the one that breaks down to the six so this is the victories I was saying you've overcome a lot of obstacles and you've also taken your power back. You're owning your power. You're standing in your power. You're standing erect. You've gone through a period where you have, you've had to learn to trust your own subconscious thoughts. And you had to own your power in situations that were challenging. Um, this is you definitely defeating the odds. We have Nas, and the name of this is called Bokeem Woodbine. So you definitely was dealing with someone who I would say was like an actor because Bokeem Woodbine is an actor from Brooklyn. Someone could be from Brooklyn or Queens. So you could have been dealing with a masculine energy. Um, if you are a masculine, you could have been dealing with a feminine energy with the Queens reference. But you, you, you were dealing with someone who was definitely, you know, putting on a facade or wearing a mask, a false person. Um, this was someone who was very deceptive. And I was picking that up just from the 15, from that 8 and 7 that we saw in the beginning of the reading. That's the devil card. So you definitely was dealing with a Decepticon, with a Judas, someone who would just lie to kick it, just say things because it sound good, but have no intentions on actually doing the things they say. Uh, when you think of what a man is and, and what they... Uh, stand on is they stand on their word their word is their bond so it's like you know when a man doesn't keep their word um, it's almost very um, it's very like it's almost very how do you say it's it's very non-masculine <laughs> you know that's the kindest way it's very juvenile it's like that's not a man you know a man knows that their word is bond they know that what they say they're gonna do they 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 will put a, a thousand percent into making sure and ensuring that what they said they were going to do is it gets done um so this is an energy of someone that just talks a lot i just i just see somebody just bumping their gums and talking and talking and just the gift the gabber type of energy so you could have dealt with someone who was just a, a slick talker uh someone who was like a salesman uh maybe someone's trying to sell you something and um, that's why, you know, spirit is saying that, you know, this 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 month during Mercury retrograde, uh, there could be some challenges with the communication. So there could have been someone who is is potentially very deceptive, will say anything to get what they want type of energy. But I feel like you've overcome this energy um, because, as I said, with that one and that five, that's the devil. You could have saw through the devil because this is the number one and this is 50. So on the flip side of that, when you defeat the devil, you know, because when you think of the 15, the 15 breaks down to six. And when you think of the six, that's the lovers. And the lovers card shows, um, you know, that energy of a feminine and masculine. Uh, and they see an angel. There's an angel overseeing that union. So this shows that you took your power back from some sort of devil because that's yin and yang energy. You know, that's that's like that dark and light energy, the devil card. And then the flip side of that is the lovers. So it's the same energy, but one is of light energy and one is of dark energy. So that is really about, you know, the shadow work that you had to do, you know, navigating, like I said, karmic situations and learning from them, them building strength, but building courage, building character within you because you've overcome those challenges that they were bringing you and that's how you took your power back and that's why the sun is now shining because that period of darkness is over it's kaput this is beautiful what you have um playing right now um is the neurons so the neurons so they say we have six pro six protons six neutrons and six electrons every time i hear neurons i always think of neutron so you have six protons neutrons and electrons so I'm hearing the number six so six is gonna be very um, six is a powerful number for some of you all that could be a life path number you could have been born on the sixth day like October 24th you could have been born on 11 6 
uh, maybe you were born on 1115. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, six could be a very important number. Maybe that's a number um, that is associated with someone that's uh, that's associated with uh, this devil like energy. Maybe someone was, you know, born, you know, on a day that reduces to six, um, whether it be like 411, 51, um, you know, whether it be someone who was born on um, on 716. I mean, 7, 15, that wouldn't be 6, pardon me, 7, 8, thank you, spirit. So like July 8th, June 1st, you know, um, not June 1st, May 1st, April 11th, because that's 4, 2. So someone, you know, like break it down. So 6 is a very significant number. Um so yeah so let's see what we got but it says hurry up tomorrow so I'm, I'm hearing impatience whenever you're trying to speed up something that that sounds like patience is necessary so it's like something seems to be taking a long time someone is just trying to get through the day someone's just ready for a change ready for something to just be done with over with um you know so that sounds like stress and anxiety that someone could be riddled with but it's like you know you you got to deal with the problem head on so this is about confronting whatever the issue is and not trying to escape it by just wanting the the day to just be over it's like patience is always a form of action so there's always some level of work that we should be doing to you know to correct you know a problem if we have a problem whether that be doing more research, whether that be putting in more energy and time towards, um, you know, correcting the issue. Uh, but it's definitely not just wanting the days to just speed up. It's about being right here, right now in the moment so that you could deal with said situation head on. So this is patient. Spirit is telling you be patient. Good things take time, you know, and they take time to create more importantly. But whatever it is you are you know, eagerly anticipating spirit is saying there's divine timing in everything. So it's, it's about the divine timing. So the cards that actually chose themselves, um, we have this 18 anxiety on the bottom of the deck. So I'm feeling like there's a lot of stress and, and ruminating and overthinking and analysis paralysis. And spirit is definitely saying to get out of your head. Um, because when you're in your head, that means you're not really, um, allowing you know those downloads to come to you you're not really allowing yourself to to see the whole picture because you're ruminating on a specific circumstance and that's what causes the stress the anxiety the overthinking and that causes illness you know so in order for you to really be able to see things clearly you have to step outside of a routine you know whatever that routine may be just sitting in the house and ruminating maybe change up the routine and go outside get some fresh air the fresh air the fresh perspectives um you may bump into certain animal totems and you could get a download from that by looking up the spiritual meaning of said animal totem you may see a number synchronicity you may find a feather you may have a sensation you know you just may feel a sense of relief uh, just being out in nature ground yourself take your shoes off connect with mother Gaia sit out and meditate to get things straight contemplate on your next move that's why spirit is saying be patient patience is really um, necessary especially when you're strategizing and planning uh, a new start a fresh start you have to be of sound mind so when you're anxious about something you're not thinking um, very sound uh, underneath the anxious anxious card is the number four happy family so someone could be stressing over a family diet dynamic um i'm getting a masculine because this 18 breaks down to nine so this could be someone like in hermit mode or someone on the defense um you know someone who's given people a lot of chances and they feel now that it's like almost that wounded warrior energy very anxious don't trust nobody walls up constantly ready to cock and load it's just like spirit is saying just wusa perhaps there was a family dynamic that cause the stress and this anxiety within someone where someone may be dealing with heavy, heavy regrets. You know, they are dealing with heavy remorse, heavy regrets. And perhaps this is something that they are realizing that they truly desire. You know, it's like almost feeling like some sort of missed opportunity or the one that got away, you know, or someone just like I said, just kind of finally realizing for the first time mistakes that they've made in this 
you know, in this dynamic, when you look at this happy family, um, this number four, that deals with the, you know, the twin flame, you know, the 1111, that's the four. So that's the vibration of the heart chakra as well. So there was a lot of love here. I see a family, children, and this is solidarity. This is a sense of, you know, feeling that sense of support, that generational um, wealth and, and financial wealth and just feeling emotionally fulfilled and content. And perhaps this is uh, the root of someone's stress and anxiety is a family situation. So the actual cards that came out and we have the glow of love that is playing and this is by change. So something changed within this family dynamic. Uh, this is what we have playing. So change the glow of love. So there's definitely someone who's having some sort of epiphanous moment. When you think of the glow, it's like a light. So someone's having a light bulb moment or having this moment of aha, of epiphany, um, you know, that something in the family construct changed. Um, someone's realizing perhaps the errors in their ways. There's a lot of red in this anxious card and red deals with the, you know, the fiery planet of Mars and Mars is a planet of war and destruction. And so something was definitely destroyed. I'm seeing like a tower. We already saw the devil. I won't be surprised if that card comes out, but it's like, there was definitely contention, a lot of anger and frustration and debating and hostilities and arguments and backstabbing and betrayals and all of that energy. Um, and someone definitely has heavy regret because they're very anxious. This could be someone who was the cause of a lot of this, you know, disparaging, um, energy, or this could be someone who is recovering from dealing with said energy. So the cards that actually flew out and it looks like we have all of our cards. Uh, we may have an extra one. Yeah, there's six cards here. So there's an extra one, a bonus one. So the first card that flew out is we have the door to spirit. So that's the overall energy here. Next card we have is 17 action. That's for the energy of who or what you're attracting to you. We have 51 healer of the ages. That's how someone feels about you. We also have 10 storm warning. This is what's hidden in the energy. We have the number 28 victory and i told you i saw victory with that six that we saw with the seven and the eight fifteen six so this is the victory and we also have six contract so i was just talking about a salesman and someone so we got the six contract let me show you all the cards we got that victory so this is the energy of your outcome so for what's hidden is you got that card there storm warning we have 51 for how someone feels about you healer of the ages we have 17 action for who or what you're attracting to you. And then we have this door to spirit, the number 32 for the overall energy. So for this 32, what I'm seeing is the doors are opening up. The doors are opening up because you put in the groundwork, you put in the work. That five is associated with the Hierophant, so I feel like you've been learning. As I said, you've gone through some sort of rites of passage. I was feeling initiation. That's what I was picking up earlier before we even touched the cards. So it's like, this is the energy. And when you reach a certain level of self-mastery, then you graduate. With this door opening up, that spirit saying, okay, you're ready. That's why patience was necessary because you were being groomed. You were being prudent. You were being prepared. I was picking up that dross energy of going through the fire. So you went through some sort of, you know, learning experience. And when you were ready, um, that's when spirit opened up this door for you to move forward. Uh, we have Roy Ayers, the third eye, which is playing. And remember what I said about, you know, when you start to grow personally, spiritually, emotionally, your first eye becomes open. You start to be more intuitive. You start to trust your intuition and use discernment. I was also saying with that six, that deals with your first eye. You know, people call it the third eye, I call it the first. But this energy with Roy Ayers, someone could be dealing with someone named Roy um, but I do feel like you had that, op that epiphany, that aha, cause airs, um, is giving me like the air, you know? So you was looking at things from a bird's eye view and by you utilizing, you know, your intuition and just trusting that gut instinct or using, um, your gumption, this is, you know, how you're able to, uh, start ascending. I feel like, you know, you're, you're coming into your own, you're coming into, 
um, your your divine purpose now. It's like you're being set free. This is a beautiful energy here. And you have the support of the angels. You have the support of your ancestors. You have so much love here. Look at this beautiful card, you know, and this beautiful dove always represents not only the, you know, the presence of, you know, the angels being around you, but this also speaks to rebirth. You know, this is you having some sort of moment of rebirth, transformation, um, and just evolving, as I said, what you're attracting to you is action. So if there was some sort of blockages or delays, or you was just growing impatient or feeling like, you know, things were just stuck and stagnant, I feel now there's going to be action because this is what you're attracting to you. This 17 breaks down to eight. Eight is given like that eight of wands. You have both the yin and yang. So this even gives the, you know, that energy of even the chariot. Um, you know, set up, set aside the fact that it's a number eight, you know, the eight is what goes around, comes back around again. So now there's movement. So the good deeds that you've done, the seeds that you've sowed in good faith are now garnering you some sort of movement in the right direction. And I feel like this is really, um, good news coming in and you taking off moving forward, uh, something really breaking through for you. This can be a wish fulfillment as well. Uh, because that 17 deals with the star card. So I'm feeling like, you know, you just walking in faith and, and, and staying truthful to yourself, remaining hopeful, sending up prayers, petitions, saying your daily affirmations, mantras, just speaking what you desired into the universe, being intentional with your actions. This is what's garnering some sort of action, some movement in your, in the right direction. Cause this is speeding right towards you. So, um, because this is the energy and it's going right directly at the energy of which represents you, Scorpio. So it's like this good news, uh, something beautiful is coming in because this is really, you know, spirit is delivering this message as well. This is beautiful. So this five and this eight, that's 13. So due to your transformations, like I said, major transformations is what's now, you know, causing some sort of uh, good news or some sort of, uh, this is like the repercussion of your actions, your good deeds are definitely garnering you some sort of blessing, wish fulfillment. Um, how someone feels about you is healer of the ages. So there's 51, like I was saying earlier, that six is all about balance. So that 51 does break down to six. And the six is the masculine feminine energy on the lover's card. That six also deals with your first eye. So you are in tune with, you know, the higher realms of spirituality. Others see you as a source of wisdom, a source of peace. Uh, you may be someone that others come to for, you know, advice. You may be people's sanctuary, like place of peace, or they may feel very grounded in your presence. You may have a very healing um, quality about you, nurturing quality about you, protective energy. Scorpios are very loving, very protective um, of those that they that they care about. And I feel that others just, you just ooze the sense of wisdom, of spiritual wisdom, knowledge. Um, you are very much an initiate of, you know, these, these spiritual, uh, spiritual knowledge. You could see he's standing right underneath this archway and arches always denote, uh, some level of initiation. So with healer of the ages, you have been anointed, you have been chosen. Um, many of you may have spiritual careers or businesses. Uh, you may have spiritual practices that you, uh, provide to others to help others. But you are definitely a light, a source of light, a source of truth. Um, and I feel that you are living in your purpose, uh, definitely living in your passion. Like this, that whatever it is that you do uh, spiritually, it is, you're passionate about it. Um, and this just radiates from you. But you are seen as a, as, as a teacher, a healer, um, as, a, a, as, as someone who is even a shaman, a light worker. Uh, but this is how others perceive you as someone with spiritual strength. Um, also someone who can bring them, you know, ground, ground them, you know, others see you as someone very grounding, very, um, I'm even getting very like, uh, just, uh, like guru energy, you know, just, this is just as like an air of someone who's just very in tune. Like you, you just have, you just radiate love, you radiate regalness, royalty, um, just beauty all in a sense, uh, with the 10, what's hidden is we have a storm warning. So remember what I was saying, Mercury retrograde could bring in potential, um, energy that could be very, you know, very, um, hostile. So if you know 
you know, if you already know, then you could prepare for it. That's why it's a warning. So this is kind of telling you um, almost to not fall for the okie doke don't fall into the traps, um, to maintain your cool, you know, maintain your cool. Use your first eye to see. We still have Roy Ayers singing the third eye. So definitely use your first eye to see. Be discerning in situations. Every action doesn't deserve a reaction, um, especially when it comes to conflict. Uh, you know, you have to learn to just kind of beat people at their own game and let miserable people be miserable and ig the ignorance because some folks could just be trying to lure you into the trap of falling, um, you know, for whatever manipulative games that they're playing. So with the storm warning, I'm feeling a strong sense of light, you know, and even this little piece here, if you look, it kind of looks like a chess piece. It could look like it could be like the knight or the 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 pawn depending so this always is like it's telling you to play chestnut checkers you know when it comes to people you know um you don't just put your your queen out there or your king out there you know in the beginning of the game you know you you, you got to play you let people pawn themselves out but you don't have to do that you know what i'm talking about don't fall for the okie doke don't fall for the tricksters because remember you were dealing with a devil energy and um so spirit is expecting you to you know to to not you know, to not stoop to anyone else's level. So what you have for the outcome is you have both the victory card 28 and the six contract. So I'm feeling like you have some real, um, real happy, you know, circumstances. You know, there's a contract that you could be signing, whether it be for a new job, whether it be, you know, you may be signing a contract on the 28th of this month. Um, maybe you've already signed one. Maybe you got a job on the sixth. Um, with this six, you know, remember we was breaking down that devil energy with the 15. So I do feel like, you know, there is a sense of like someone getting their just due, like you getting your just due for dealing with some sort of devil for maintaining, um, you know, your maintaining your peace, maintaining, you know, your own sensibility and not falling into the traps. We have delegation, delegation, oh honey, playing, um, so I do feel like, you know, you took the high road. Um, you didn't allow someone to make you salty. Uh, when you think of honey, it's sweet. So I do feel like you maintained, um, a sense of, you know, a sense of peace. Like you main, you stood your ground, you know, you didn't allow someone to kind of, you know, trap you into, uh, whatever tricks they were playing with delegation. I'm also getting, there could be some new contracts that's going to be signed. Like I said, um, some of y'all could be dealing with a salesman. You could be purchasing a new car or purchasing a home where someone's making commission. Just make sure you read the fine print. Make sure nobody's surprising you with what's in this, the contract. Like read your contract. If you don't know how to read a contract, um, definitely take some time and have somebody that may be a little more familiar, kind of breeze through it, look through it, make sure there's nothing, uh, in there that you are binding yourself to, um, unknowingly. Uh, but I also feel that there is a victory here that you are having some sort of breakthrough because I see that, you know, there's something new coming in and you're going to be very satisfied. I feel this is you getting your just due though, you know, cause I'm, I'm just getting a sense of like you feeling, um, you're feeling more balanced. Like I said earlier, like there's a sense of you feeling like you're in alignment, like you've learned a lot. And the things that you've learned, you're now applying. So the application of knowledge becomes wisdom. So you've wisened your dome just through your experiences. And with this delegation, maybe you are, um, you know, making it your business to, you know, moving forward. Um, you're going to start delegating uh, some of the responsibilities to people that you may have felt, um, you know, they, they, they kind of got, they got off easy. You know, you're not letting anyone get off easy anymore. You're going to delegate. You're going to force people to do their part, you know, so you're not making it easy for anyone, especially if you felt like you were taken for granted or you were unappreciated or, you know, in some sense. So nowadays you're delegating because of the love of self. So let's tap in. So let's see what we have. I'm going to get some messages from the Moonology deck, being as though we have this full moon tomorrow and in, in clear or in true. North Carolina fashion, it is currently cloudy because they're trying to block 
the full moon that is to happen tomorrow. So what we have is full moon in Capricorn. And it says the end of a tough cycle approaches. I can't make this up. So we was just talking about you completing tough cycles. The sun was coming out earlier. And this is because of the work, the dedication, the drive that you have put in to wrap that cycle up. This full moon in Capricorn is really saying that, you know, you have the potential now to start reaping the rewards. I was seeing wish fulfillments coming in and that Capricorn energy is an earth energy. So I feel that you're, you're feeling more grounded now. Um, your money could be improving. Finances are getting better. Uh, you're, you're back on track when it comes to your stability and your security. Uh, this full moon is saying that this is what's manifesting in your reality. Uh, what you have here, I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. I just did the split and it says prosperity lies ahead. And this is the uh, new moon in Taurus. So this is a beautiful energy showing you that through your hard work, dedication, this is what's coming in. I was telling you, you had rewards, wish fulfillment. Sun showing up in the first touch of the cards is telling me that there's new beginnings, exciting new beginnings that are taking place. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. What messages? Two more shuffles, and then we're going to cut the deck. And spirit is saying, is something coming in? We got Maxwell singing something, something. So something exciting is coming in. And this is from the Love Jones soundtrack. So this could be new love that could potentially be coming in. That's one of my favorite movies. So the bottom of the deck is clarifying the overall energy. And it says your hard work is paying off. Didn't I tell you? All your hard work, everything you've been doing, the seed you've been sowing. That's why this door to spirit is opening up for you because this is the reward that comes when you put in the work when you put in the effort that five deals with the hierophant that's about training that's about you know growing your wealth of knowledge that's about studentship learning evolving as i said earlier you know the application of knowledge becomes wisdom so you've now learned how to apply the knowledge you've obtained whether by means of your own research and investigation or sitting at the feet of an elder a master teacher a healer shaman light worker a pastor a preacher or maybe you were sitting at the feet of the elders in your family a maternal or paternal figure in your family but you've been soaking up game and not only have you soaked it up but you've learned how you know it applies because you've had to overcome some difficulties this is a very beautiful energy your work that you've put in this is like your groundwork like i said you've sowed your seeds in good faith that's why that sun was shining when we first touched the deck because there's happy times ahead Whatever storms you were fighting, whatever, or, or, or whatever terrains you were going through, whatever it is that you was facing, whatever obstacles, whatever challenges, whatever, you know, atrocities you've had to heal from. It's like it was all preparing you for this very moment. This is beautiful. And the bottom of the deck we have, you're very close to achieving your goal. That's why spirit is telling you earlier to be patient, you know. Because that song was saying, hurry up tomorrow. And I was like, patience is a form of action. So you can't rush the, rush the process because everything that you've been asking for, spirit is working on. It's conspiring behind the scenes in your favor, but you have to be patient. And so spirit is telling you, reminding you, you know, to look up at the moon, the, the cycles of the moon. Things are, you know, the intentions that you set. Maybe you've been utilizing moon cycles to manifest. And spirit is saying that it's it's close it's close to you know to blossoming and, and and coming into fruition so whatever it is and and this is you know we're about to clarify the action so this action spirit is saying you're very close to achieving your goal and things are going to take off when when you do when it does approach or reach reaches you i'm telling you it's going to take off it's going to be something beautiful something special I feel this is also someone that could see you in their likeness because like I said, that yin and yang energy with the black and white horse reminds me of the chariot, you know, so with that energy, you could have somebody rushing in, maybe someone's coming in confidently, 
This is someone that's definitely made in your image, your likeness, someone you will have chemistry and synergy with. So we got a couple of cards that flew out and we are going to, no, this is too many. So I'm gonna give my cards a bang, bang, boogie. And we have luck is on your side on the bottom of the deck here. So I do feel like, you know, good things are happening to you because as I said, what goes around comes back around again. So if you remain positive and you didn't fall into the trap of doing things spitefully or vengefully, then this is the reason why spirit is going to work everything out in your favor. And the very reason why you're going to have many victories. And I saw 4444 when I first flipped over the, um, the, um, curtain, uh, the curtain, the cloth there. So luck is on your side for real, for real. So divine spirit, why 17 action here for my beloved Scorpios and who or what they're attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. So we got two cards. And it says you're very close. So they keep reminding you. Remember when we first was talking about this card action, this card was there. So spirit is double confirming that it's closer than you could imagine. And this is the energy that I want you to see yet again so I can refresh your memory because I like to show and prove even though this is the Dark Matter series. I'm very, you know, anal about showing you so you don't think I'm just saying anything because I could literally be saying anything is here and, and you don't see the cards and that, that's just sensationalism. But I like to show you so you know it's actual factuals going on on this side of the tarot land. But uh, I digress. So the cards that flew out is we have a personal issue reaches resolution. That's one of the cards. And then we have emotions are running high. So there's definitely something that is coming to a head, coming to a close. And it's because someone is finally, finally taking their strength, you know, their courage, their wisdom to incite this change, to make something happen. And this is a very emotional time. With this super moon card, emotions are running high. It's like you can't fight the feeling when your emotions are running high. You could be dealing with a cancer because we have this full moon and cancer card. So it says here that a personal issue reaches resolution. So if someone's dealing with personal issues, if you know, and we know with the 17, that breaks down to eight, that's the number of karma as well. So if someone was dealing with a karmic personal situation, they're, they're leaving. They're finally about to muster up the strength to leave a situation to um, move in a completely different direction because they, they can no longer suppress the way that they feel or to hide the obvious, you know, the truth is right there, smacking them in the face. So how does this person or this thing that Scorpios are attracting to them? Why is this healer of the ages here for how they feel about Scorpios? And we have friendly skies. So someone could be wanting to um, take a trip. And it says a fiery climax approaches passion, desire. So this is someone that has a lot of passion, a lot of fire. I also feel with this fiery climax, um, this could potentially be someone, um, you know, like I said, who is finally living in their purpose, you know, in their passion, because we have friendly skies featuring genuine, and this is Missy Elliott. Someone could be from VA, but I'm getting a sense of like, you know, this, this is someone who's coming in, uh, you know, al almost like, you know, coming in with peace, coming in to bring peace, to bring some sort of, of of positivity you know with fiery climax that that also is saying like there is some exciting close to a situation you know this is something that's really gonna make you feel elated overjoyed and this is an Aries energy let me get one more card so I'm definitely getting a sense like if you are coming into some sort of spiritual union with someone that this is going to be a very intense connection. Let me get one more card for how this person feels and it says you are good enough. See that? You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. So someone definitely realizes just, you know, how valuable you are, how nurturing, loving, caring, tender, down to earth how successful, how stable, how mother, you know, maternal or paternal, strong, how practical and resourceful you are. 
But this Clyre, um, this fire, I said Clyre, this fiery climax, this fiery climax approaches means that there's, you know, someone is rushing in because remember right next to it, we have that action card and then there's a personal issue that they're resolving. So this seems like they're rushing in towards you because it says a fiery climax approaches. So they're leaving a situation to approach you now. And you have this sense of, you know, your worth and value here with you are good enough. You know, your worth, you know, your value, you're not settling. They see you as a goddess. This is a very beautiful goddess. And this is something manifesting. You got a lot of full moons here in these cards. You got full moon in cancer, full moon in Aries, full moon in Virgo. You have a super moon here. And so this is just showing me like with these four cards, with the full moon that this is manifesting. And it's manifesting in a quick, it's manifesting quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because you got the 17 action card. And I was picking up that eight of wands energy where it's coming in quick, unexpected even. This is a powerful energy. So what's hidden in the energy? Why is this storm warning here? And it, we have, um, who is this? Gladys Knights and the Pips. Someone could be from Georgia. And this is called Neither One of Us Wants to Be the First to Say Goodbye. So with this storm warning, someone's leaving a, a, a karmic situation because this is the number 10. So someone's leaving, obviously, with neither one of us want to be the first to say goodbye. This could be someone who's definitely, you know, wrapping up a karmic cycle. This could be not only your energy, but who or what you may potentially be attracting to you. But with this storm warning, maybe this is someone that you've already ended things with. And with this, you know, this Mercury retrograde, there could be someone returning because they don't want to let you go because they don't want to see you thrive. They don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you move on with your life. So they could be coming back to potentially have you all caught up in the rapture of their games and manipulations yet again. And then when you fall for the trap, you'll be stuck doing the same thing you've been doing for the past 10 years all over again and potentially for another 10 years. Because once you get trapped in those cycles, cycles last for 10 years. So it's like, that's why spirit was telling you, trust your intuition. That's why I saw not only the seven, but the eight to break that down to 15, to let you know you're dealing with a devil and devils are very conniving. They plot, they plan, they prepare, they strategize for your out, for your demise. So you have to be very wise. That's why spirit also said with that 15 to six, use your first eye to see. Also trust your own intuition. Like don't let anybody talk you into circles, talk a hole in your head. You're highly intelligent, very wise, and you don't have to fall into the traps. You can only fall into a trap if you allow yourself to. You don't have to do anything unless it sits right, feels right in your spirit. So never submit your will to anyone ever. I don't care if you know them or not. I don't care if it's family. I don't care if it's a mother, father, sister, brother, cousin, auntie. It doesn't matter. Never submit your will. That's your power. So that's what spirit is reminding you of because this, like I said, the storm warning is just a warning because this is a potential threat. So this is letting you know what you need, you know, what you need to look out for. This is the forecast, potential forecast for what could potentially break down you know break through with during that murky retrograde but i digress so what we have on the bottom of the deck is what do you need to release so spirit is telling you take that moment to reflect to see to analyze to see amongst even your own cipher what it is you need to get rid of you know whether it be faulty belief systems whether it be people because this one is you know that this 10 breaks down to one that is not only the magician um, so this could be, again, someone trying to manipulate you into some sort of hostile back and forth exchange, which could escalate to cops being called to someone potentially getting arrested. You know, everything could always escalate. That's why spirit was like the ignorance. You know, that's how you beat a, that's how you beat someone manipulative in their game by not falling into the trap of responding. So with this one, it's also masculine energy. So you could potentially be dealing with a masculine that could be very manipulative or very conniving or very cunning in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Even if you're masculine, you could have a conniving, manipulative supervisor, boss, you know, maybe even a own, you know, your own father or uncle or someone, you know, a fake friend that's sitting around you, you know, you, you just got to be mindful because this is a potential warning. So with that, neither one of us wants to be the first to say goodbye. It's like, you know what you need to do. You already know that this is something or someone you need to have, you know, in your past because you, you cannot thrive. You cannot succeed with someone plotting on your downfall in your cipher. It's just not going to happen because they're going to always be doing things to manipulate 
or to detract you in some way. So you have to always be thinking 10 steps ahead. That's why spirit showed me that piece on this card, which looked like a chess piece telling you this is chess, not checkers. So you can't just give folks, you know, the benefit of the doubt because you want to be kind or you want to be, you know, you want to be uh, considerate or whatever the case may be, or you just want to, you know, no, you, you have to do what's best for you. So spirit is like, look, use your first eye to see because you're dealing with a manipulative person. The one is the magician. So this is someone who's a master manipulator. This is someone that's very strategic. And this is someone that's very cunning. This is someone that speaks with the forked tongue. So what you have here is what do you need to release? So what you need to release is this person because this is what's hidden, you know, and this is a waning moon. So this is someone that wanes, you know what I'm saying? This is like, this is someone that's like, you know, um, I feel like this is someone that kind of like, is, is like, how do you say it's like, they, they, they're like, they're not really present, you know, they just, it's like they're an illusionist, you know, it's, it's like, it's almost an illusion, you know, they paint a picture as if it's something that it really isn't. And that's why spirit is telling you, use your first eye to see because you'll see right through this person. We have Don Cherry and this is called Relativity. So Relativity. So this is definitely relative to your circumstance with Don. Someone's name could be Don, but I also am hearing like this is the cherry on the cake, like the cherry on the top rather. So whatever this person does, it's like that's going to be the cherry on the top for you to like finally let this go to finally, you know, because there's going to be one last attempt by whoever this devil energy is, uh, whoever this manipulative energy is to try to do something to you. And I feel like this is going to be the cherry on the top that's going to make you say, you know what, I'm done, done, Finn. Um, we have 1973. Um, this is Don Cherry. I want to show you. And it says 1973. And that 1973 breaks down to 11. And so 11 is justice. So I do feel like this is a karmic. Someone is getting their just due. Someone is getting karma for the things that they've done. And with this two, I do feel like, you know, that's a feminine energy, a feminine number. That two also is the number of, you know, the two of swords. So this is about not being in two minds. This is about making the wise decision, the right choices, doing things the right way um, and not being stuck at a fork in the road uh, because you could potentially be dealing with someone who's who's trying to manipulate you. So just be mindful of that. Please don't come over there. Thank you. Hi, my friend. Hey, baby girl. Hey. You had a good nap? Katara just woke up. <laughs> you just had a sweet nap, friend girl? All right, so let's see what we have. So we have your dreams need a practical plan. So with the storm warning. So someone is still, you know, trying to ma manifest something. So let's tap in. So why is this 10 storm warning here for what's hidden? And the energy for my beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. All right. So 50 cards flew out. I'm not taking 50 cards. Guitar is laying all over the cards. <laughs> I was trying to prevent her from doing it. But she just makes herself comfortable. You want to see her? Here she goes right there. <laughs> she just laid out. This is her right here. She's black, so you can't even see her. Friend do. Yeah, that's the little baby. All right, so prosperity lies ahead. That's where I ended up. So that's beautiful. So we was talking about rewards and having some blessings coming through, wish fulfillments. All right. So it says expect powerful change. Beautiful. Look at that. That's amazing. And this is the new moon eclipse. So we had a couple of eclipses. You know these past couple of months so this is definitely saying that something you've been manifesting with this this 10 which is the one something you've been manifesting which is almost like this is spirit's way of saying like whatever you've been doing it's like this is why you're reaping these rewards because spirit has watched and it has you know really um given you credit you know for your your efforts you know it's like you've managed to persevere through some really difficult uh, circumstances and I feel like when you outsmart some sort of devil when you outsmart this person that's trying to bring drama to your doorstep it's like this is when things shift this is when you know things take a turn for the better uh, what we have here on the bottom of the deck is we have meditate and contemplate I definitely said that earlier about the importance of grounding yourself and 
and really, you know, going within, tapping into your Christ consciousness. But this meditation and contemplation allows for you to move uh, more strategic, you know, to really plan and strategize, you know, the way that you are going to approach things moving forward. Um, and so we're about to clarify the 28th victory along with this contract. So there's definitely something beautiful that is ahead for you. And someone is going to be crying their ass off for you because you're moving forward. You're moving upwards and onwards. And it says surrender to the divine. So, you know, take away that need to control. Remember, you was, you know, can't, you know, hurry up tomorrow and all that energy of impatience. That spirit's way of saying no. You know, you have to maintain um, that sense of um, self-control. Uh, because things are taking its time to get right. You know, universe is absolutely working and conspiring in your favor. So, you know, your best way to deal with that is to just be patient and to learn whatever it is spirit is teaching you, because there's always a lesson to learn in these moments of pause, you know, in these moments of, you know, whether it be hibernation, um, but it's like, there's, the, you know, this moment of isolation even, but it says meditate and contemplate. That's what came out and your commitment is being tested. So someone is being tested and spirit is going to test you. Like I said, you know, you're going to be tested because spirit wants to make sure and ensure that you've learned whatever lessons that, you know, you, you've been learning in these, these karmic cycles. So Mercury retrograde will bring that same energy back, you know, whether it be that same person, that same karmic, it will bring that same energy back into your life to test you to see if you've actually learned the lesson. And that's why spirit is giving you the full warning to meditate and contemplate before you take action. Because if you don't, you could find yourself just reacting to situations that could have you stuck all over again. So your commitment to something, that's another thing. You know, you may be feeling like, yo, what's going on? When is it going to happen? Why isn't it happening? And spirit is like, look, your commitment is being tested. Now we want to see if you really want what you asked for, you know. And and we see already that you you came a long way. This is almost like, you know, you be in the last lap. And your, your, your freaking hamstrings are burning. And, and that voice is like, just quit. Just quit. It, it's too far. You know what I'm saying? Spirit is going to test your, your, your commitment to winning that race. You are ahead of the race. But it's like you, everything in you is like, yo, my body, I can't do it. I can't do it. But you got you to gotta ig that noise. You got to quiet that noise and keep going. Because that's what spirit is saying. You're being tested. So if you're being tested, then that means that this is that, that period like I said, during that, that draws period, pressure bust pipes, but it creates diamonds, you know? So this is a powerful time. And look what's on the bottom of the dark room while we have this beautiful star card. I mentioned the star as well. So there is wish fulfillments coming in. Your answers to your prayers are being definitely answered. And we have the ace, oh snap, ace of chalices on the split. So look at that. Some of you all have new love coming in, new finances, wish fulfillments, you're going to be emotionally fulfilled, emotionally elated, overjoyed. And you have a secret admirer because there's like this eye watching. And this is someone mature, someone who loves themselves, someone who's taken the time to heal, to grow. We have someone uh, crying for you. This could be someone from your past. We have Diary of a Mad Band, Jodeci, and Cry For You is playing. So this could be that person that's mad. I'm hearing, why you mad? Why you mad? You mad? <laughs> so someone's mad because you moved on. I feel like you moved on to something that's uh, more on your your frequency. Someone is more emotionally intelligent. Someone speaks your love language. Someone attentive. I'm seeing here the um, Knight of Swords. So someone may be rushing in to say something. I feel like there's someone coming in to say something. And we have the Ten of Chalices here. Someone could be confessing their love. I don't know if you have a message of love. Or maybe this is just, you know, a past love. Like something ended quickly and abruptly. You know, this this is potentially that karmic you was dealing with. You felt very much caged, controlled. You know, someone definitely stalks your life, stalks you. Tries to keep you. This is almost like that same energy I was getting. Because remember we had seven and eight in the um, intro of the reading on the time clock. 
And so you got that seven and eight, that's 15. That looks like a devil energy. Someone very conniving, very manipulative. And this is the eight of swords. So this is someone that had you up in their head. You definitely rent space in theirs. They're obsessed with you. I get obsession. I get someone possessive. This is someone that tries to bind you, keep you stuck. This is someone that's definitely jealous and envious. They get joy out of watching you, um, you know, suffer almost. And I'm getting air like this person sucks the life out of you, sucks the, the life force out of you, which is your air. The energy sucks the energy. This is an energy vampire. And this is someone who is very nonchalant. Maybe you now, you know, are starting to realize, you know, that you have options that there's a whole world out there and you have other options. This could also be someone who had a lot of a lot of options, like someone, you know, who was just, you know, dealing with a lot of different people. And you could have learned about that, but they still try to keep you stuck. They don't want to let you go live your life, but they want to still be able to do whatever they want to do. But they want to keep you stuck or keep you locked down and chained. This is that codependent energy. Look at you. You bolting your ass up out of there. We got the five of chalices. <laughs> Look at this. So this is definitely what transformed you. You got the five and the eight here. So you left. I see that five of cups. This is you on the boat saying, I'm done. I'm finished. I'm out. And this is this person here, the eight of swords. So this person, something transformed where you stopped allowing people, you know, to manipulate you and to control you. You left the situation. You left someone or something behind. You could have discovered, like I said, third parties. There was definitely tower moments. You have Candy Girl here playing, and this is by the new edition. So you've moved on and created a new version of yourself. Someone could be from Boston. So Divine Spirit of Peace, Power, and Protection, let me clarify these messages, and then we're going to wrap it up. So this, this song came out in 19, 1983. So that is, that's 12. And that's three. So 1983. So this 12 is saying someone is pondering now. Someone is definitely, you know, have been put in a space where they have to, you know, kind of sacrifice. They got to kind of, you know, they got to take it on the chin almost. It's like you got to, it's like spirit makes you aware of your, you know, the mistakes you may have made or the errors in your ways. Spirit is made sure to sit you down to observe, to, to, to look at things from a different perspective, perhaps from someone else's perspective. But it's like you get a different vantage point when you're in that hangman uh, mode. And what someone sees now is what I feel is possibility. You know, this is someone now really, you know, in a space of, you know, strength and courage. Someone who's taken that power back after going through perhaps like that three of swords energy, feeling betrayed, feeling backstabbed, feeling deceived, you know, and that having to recover, you know, that recovery and healing period. And when you recover from that, that 32, which is also five, allows for you to evolve because you take the time to really learn to express your authentic self, whether by means of tapping into your divinity as a divine feminine or masculine, um, learning what your, your skills are, learning and developing certain talents, but also living in your purpose. So that's why it's like spirit is saying, like your hard work pays off. So let's tap in. So let's cut the deck, see what we got on the bottom of the deck to clarify the overall energy. And I cut my deck like three times. I just like to do that. Just stuck with me one day. I did it and it stuck. Because I like everything in threes. So we have the star right back where we started off. Look at this. Wish fulfillment. I can't make this ish up. So you have a wish fulfillment. Your wishes, your dreams are coming true. Your hard work is paying off because spirit heard your prayer in privacy. All those petitions you were sending up, those daily mantras, speaking what you wanted into this reality, into the ethers, setting your intention, tapping into that alchemical force. This is that energy, you know, and the phone is ringing. So some of y'all may receive good news by way of the phone, but I definitely get a sense of a wish, a blessing, something coming in that's going to bring pure joy, pure elation. Underneath that, we got the queen of cups. So this is your energy. So who or what you're attracting to you is someone emotionally fulfilled, available, ready, intelligent, nurturing, caring, kind. Someone's ready to take action towards you because this is the way that they may perceive you. 
with the 17 action and a personal issue reaches resolution along with emotions are running high someone is perhaps discovering or realizing their true feelings true emotions and they're ready to offer this love they see you as a queen a goddess a king a god a divine masculine divine feminine you're about your business you're definitely someone regal and royal and they respect you they adore you they are intrigued they admire you they see you as wise this is beautiful why is this 17 action emotions are running high see that the five i can't make this up this is the five of cups see that when you left the situation perhaps this is the end result because it says action you took action not only did you take action but accountability that five and eight breaks down to 13 this is what transformed the situation you know the demise of a relationship led to your evolution it led to your ascension that's why it says a personal issue reaches resolution and it reaches resolution because you bow out you humbly bow out and say no more I'm not taking nobody's bare minimums. I'm not taking nobody's mess. I'm not going to sit here and be anyone's doormat. I'm moving on to bigger and better. And perhaps some of these folks didn't realize that you meant what you said when you said what you said. And now they're sitting here in deep anxiety. Deep. Doesn't these two cards look the same? This is whoever that is now having regret. I was picking up someone having heavy regret, remorse. This is what that is. Why? Because you left. That, that boat is you. You left on a boat. Someone could be agonizing over this family situation. This is someone definitely who has a lot of regret for something that they may have done. And we have, um, this is um, Ray. Um, what's his name? Dang. Ray Charles. I don't know why I couldn't remember his name. I said Ray. But this is called Hit the hit the Road Jack. See that? <laughs> so this is Ray. As I'm talking about you bolting up out of somewhere and leaving someone behind with this cup, this card here, Five of, of Cups. You hit the road. You was out. And, uh, and someone could have been real, real um, proud and was like, go, bye. See you. I don't give up. You know what I'm talking about? And they didn't realize you meant what you said. What we have here now is the Knight of Wands. So this was like that player, player energy. This is someone that was just like in and out, flighty, noncommittal, not loyal, unreliable, not trustworthy. Someone who's just like, they just, the, the bottom line is them getting what they want. They definitely operate out of passion. They're people pleasers for the moment. And then they just poof, disappear in a, in a, in a cloud of freaking smoke. But I feel like this is someone definitely like, and so how someone feels about you is that, you know, there's, there's this desire to come towards you and say something with hit the road, Jack. They may feel that's how you're going to respond. It's like, bye, you know, and you may need to. Um, but I definitely feel like there's movement. Like you're, you're, you're definitely um, making moves. You're, you're doing what you feel you need to do this time around. So how someone feels about you is we have um, the page of wands. So someone's ready to say something. There's a message coming in for you. You got the page of wands. This is someone watching. I feel like this person spies. And you also have the knight of pentacles. So they're kind of watching, trying to, you know, strategize or plan the, breast, the best course of action. Someone may like your breast ladies. This may be a breast man. You know how people got breast man, butt man, thigh. You know, they like maybe someone likes your breast but this is um this is someone that's definitely taking their time you know because they want to get it right this could be that that uh that love you know that i was picking up on earlier that real spiritual love you know that twin flame love because this is someone willing to put the work put the effort put the time put the energy this is someone willing to cultivate and nurture you know build that circle of trust be supportive be you know, be available, you know, this is that person willing to do that. And that could be the reason why they're kind of watching you, you know, trying to figure out how, when, you know, let me get one more message for how this person feels about you. I definitely feel passion and attraction also, you know, that wand speaks to that, but this is someone assertive as well. Like they go after what they want. So you have two cards here that flew out and we have the queen of swords here. 
uh, pardon me, the King of Swords here on the bottom of the deck. So that is going to be on the bottom of the deck for what's hidden in the energy. So the two cards that flew out to clarify. Uh, and what did I say? Justice. You got justice and the Queen of Cups. So this person wants justice in this situation. I feel like they could be coming. You may have someone that is destined to be in your life. You know, this is someone that's definitely um, very much prepared to, you know, express something. You know, they have a lot of emotion. I see this eye on the back of this queen's throne. So this person does watch you. I was picking up like someone is a secret admirer, someone that kind of, you know, watches and spies. I definitely feel like there could have potentially, some of y'all may have had some sort of voodoo juju hoodoo on you. Someone may have put something on you to try to block or delay or hinder uh, your blessings or hinder opportunities for from you. And whoever that is, they're going to receive karma. I definitely feel like someone is um, is also um, is getting their just due. I just get like you're getting your just due, and this is due to like I said, you know the you know the seeds that you've sowed in good faith. It's like things are coming back full circle for you. And this Queen of Cups is how they see you. They see you as someone very emotionally intelligent. We see you as someone very beautiful. Someone's name could be Davina. We have Davina playing so good. So I think that, you know, things are going to turn out good. Things are going to turn out well. Um, because whoever, you know, whoever you're dealing with, whoever this is that you're dealing with, I just get a sense of like this person wanting, you know, to say something. They're wanting to say something to you. And they're just trying to figure out the best time, the best strategy, the best way to say whatever it is they need to say. This is like, and yeah, which so oh, so good. So something good is coming in. It says expect powerful change and this king of swords is here. So it's like, I just see that you are cutting out the nonsense out of your life. Or whoever you're dealing with could potentially be cutting out the nonsense in their life with this king of swords this expect powerful change and then you have this uh, storm warning so someone you know with the king of swords that's that energy where you're able to see through you know the nonsense because you're looking at things from a bird's eye view you know you're not romanticizing about things you're being honest you're being true and when you see things don't fit or serve your highest good you're more susceptible to cutting it out of your life now so as not to get, you know, bid or betrayed or duped. So why is this 10? Storm warning and expect powerful changes here for what's hidden. And we have the hermit. So, wow, we got a lot of cards. Do I take all of these? Okay, spirit said yes, so I'll take them. So the first card... What is this? Oh, wow. I see why spirit said take them. So you have the ace of pentacles. So expect powerful changes. Remember I was saying I was feeling like there was some money coming in, perhaps a new job offer. This is definitely from your hard work, from your labor that this is coming in. This isn't just a gift. It could be for some of you. You may receive unexpected money or unexpected you know, check in the mail, but there's definitely something you've earned. This is money you've earned. This is a new beginning, a fresh start with expect powerful change. You also have um, temperance. And remember what we were saying about, you know, patience being a form of action. So this temperance card is truly speaking to that. So by you being patient, this beautiful new beginning can, you know, can develop, can begin you're on the precipice of something beautiful. That's why spirit is reminding you, you know, there's a potential storm warning. But if you ig that, then you can absolutely, you know, come into this new change that spirit is bringing in for you. You also have the um, page of pentacles. So this, this is yet another offer. This is yet news, positive news, generous offers being made to you. You're going to have your pick. It's like you're going to have to choose wisely is what I'm hearing. Because I got the seven of cups here again. So there's choices and options here. I feel like many of you 
like I was saying before, with this potential storm warning, some of you all look at these cards. So I want you to see you got the five of pentacles, that energy of, you know, um, you know, being led astray, abandoned, the three of swords. And then we also have the, um, what is this? The eight of pentacles and the three of cups. So this is beautiful. So let me show you these cards first. Because I want you to see the energy that I was picking up on with the storm warning. So you can see where this, this, you know, this person in this alley is kind of looking in awareness. It's like sometimes you got to get out of a situation in order to see what you were really truly dealing with. And I feel this person may have been under the influence because there's like liquor bottles and alcohol and pills and all kind of stuff there. And it's like someone sobered up and they finally saw themselves. With the Three of Swords, this is the energy that you felt dealing with that person is you felt betrayal. This five and this 10 is that same 15, the devil energy. And this Three of Swords is the result of dealing with that devil energy. So that energy is showing me this is what led to something ending because five, three is eight and this 10, one, nine. This is that pause. This is that energy where you are feeling where, you know, okay, you're looking back in awareness. But you also have that energy of that wounded warrior where you have your guard up now. You're not allowing anyone in and you're not falling for the same traps or the same mistakes that you may have fallen. You've learned from those things now. And so now this is that energy of you protecting yourself. Even in this, this three of swords, this is a protective energy. She's protecting her heart. She got her arms crossed, which means she's not letting these ghosts and goblins or these little spiritual demons Whatever this is that people are sending to her to, ha to haunt her, to taunt her. She's not allowing it to happen. Even if you're masking, not allowing it because you're protecting yourself now. So you know better because you've taken that pause, that moment to reflect, taking that moment to look back in awareness and you see what you was dealing with. You was dealing with a lot of demons. You know what I'm saying? And even under the influence, this is perhaps some of the ways they could have got you to fall off your game or to come off, you know, come out of character. But look what you also have. This is you now, you know, getting back to what you know is important. This three of cups is reuniting with yourself, reuniting with your tribe. There's rejoice and celebrations ahead of you. But this is because look what you did. You turned pain into power, you know, into a superpower, you know, especially with that super moon that you had that allowed for you to turn your pain, you know, into some sort of superpower because you was dealing with a super moon as well. And so with this energy, like I said, your hard work pays off. Your commitment to what you want, to what you desire, to what you know is meant for you, it is definitely a testament to how bad do you want it. So you got to show that you want it by staying the course, by doing what you know you're supposed to do. So he's working relentlessly, very disciplined, very focused on whatever it is he's, you know, um, manifesting. What we have playing right now is Oshun, Aya's intro. So Aya is one of our beautiful Orishas. Oshun is as well. So you are definitely seen as very beautiful, very attractive, very handsome. Um, and this says about it. So you're definitely about what you say you're going to do. So whatever it is that you've been working on, um, people can tell that you have that passion, that you have that fire, that you have that desire because you've showed nothing but complete re resilience, you know, um, determination and drive, you know, ambition even. Uh, so they've watched you really, you know, really stay focused on your, your goals and, and you utilize, you know, that time, like I said, in this 32 door to spirit energy, that's like that time to, you know, of learning, you know, of mastering your craft, of sharpening your sword even. And so now there's rewards for you being dedicated dedicating that time this is beautiful so what we have on the bottom of the deck is we have the hermit so this is that energy of you know being in isolation and seclusion you know and you about to come out i'm hearing diana ross um i'm coming out in my mind's eye they're allowed i'm coming out dun, dun. i want the world to know so what we have is we have the two of cups can't make this up nope this is the lovers and I mentioned the lovers, look at that harmony and balance. It don't get no more harmonious than this. And this could be saying that this is you coming into new love ships, unions, friendships, work dynamics, but this is harmony nonetheless. 
and this is also the victory this is why victory is ensuing because of the work the dedication and the drive this is beautiful man so spirit is saying that you have perhaps a very sacred connection bond this is you even coming into you know your own divine purpose that this is the outcome for you with that lover's card that speaks to balance that speaks to harmony you also have the six contract some of y'all could be getting married you could be bumping into your soulmates I definitely feel like, you know, this, this commitment is going to be tested. There's going to be some trials and error. Maybe this is someone, you know, from your past, like a past life love, you know, this is someone that, you know, definitely could be returning. We know Mercury retrograde definitely brings a lot of past energy back. And we have the three of wands. So someone is planning, strategizing, preparing, trying to come towards you, trying to muster up that strength, courage, and wise dome as well. And so we're going to get, um, I think we're good. I'm not going to get any more. I don't want this reading to be that long, but this is your reading. Beautiful Scorpios. I hope the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind, hit the like button, the share button, definitely subscribe to the soul tribe. Also, if you're interested in booking, uh, you know, your own personal consultation with me, check the description box below, click on the link to take you to my Etsy shop and you can book your consultation there. I've made some revisions to my, um, prices, um, but I just uh, wanted to let you all know that you definitely can book your spiritual consultation with me if you are interested. Thank you to everyone who has already done so. I believe for those of you who are asking, how can you leave a review? Um, I believe if you go to like your purchases and you click on uh, the purchase for your um, sale with me, there should be an option to review, uh, you know, that item. So if you go to like your purchases, that's usually where it is. Um, so check there. Uh, it should be there. If not, I'll let me look at it again and I'll give you um, I'll give you some more insight on that. OK, but thank you all for tuning in, tapping in. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Send an infinite love and light to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in. until next time. Peace.